Hello everyone, welcome back to ASR9000 YouTube channel. In today, we're going to talk about the RSP fabric. As you know, it depends on the different type of ASR9000 modular chassis. It may require RSP or may not require RSP, such as ASR9912, 9922. It uses dedicated switch fabric card. It doesn't require RSP, but they do need a rock processor. However, some of the other chassis, like ASR9910 and ASR9906, they treated RSP as a dedicated switch fabric card. So we call that the, the hybrid system. The reason is the RSP and the switch fabric is working together. And some other chassis, like ASR9006 and 9010, they have to rely on the RSP to provide both rock processor and the switch fabric functions. So depends on the different scenario, they had a different usage. We're going to go in through all those different scenarios. Okay, let's get started. As we just talked about, the RSP play a different role depends on the uh, different ASR9000 modular chassis. And in general, RP, RSP, and SFC are called the uh, ASR9000 commons. In production, it requires the same generation commons to be inserted into the modular chassis. The mixed mode generation only allowed during the uh, migration. And SFC2 support 215 gig switch fabric capacity and SFC3 support 600 gig switching uh, capacity. And giving a chassis support seven fabric that per slot with the SFC2 can maximum support 1.5 terabits uh, per slot capacity and SFC3 can support 4.2 terabits switching capacity. And if a line car uh, doesn't require the full uh, per slot switching capacity, if that could be allowed another fabric bandwidth using the uh, redundancy protection, that's what we call the N plus one protection. And the line car can be support the third generation and fifth generation in the same chassis running the uh, 64 bits LS XR. So RSP it has been using in the different uh, role in the integrate or the hybrid or the dedicated chassis. As you see, 9006, 9010, and 9904 are integrated system that requires one or two redundant RSP to provide the switching fabric. A hybrid system 9906, 9910, that either require one or two RSP plus the SSC, so that can provide up to seven fabrics. The ASR 9912 and 9922 are using dedicated SFC switching fabric in the chassis. Of course, that still need RP to support rock processor function. A line card insert into the different ASR 9000 modular chassis, it could be a support a different fabric. For example, a five fabric line card can be only support in the ASR 9006 and 9010. However, in that chassis only support four fabric with the fabric port connection. We're going to provide the details in the later on slides. And depends on the five fabric or seven fabric that ASR9904 can provide five fabric, six fabric, or up to seven fabric. And this depending the line car forwarding capacity. And in the system ASR 9906, 9910, 9912, and 9922, it supports both the five fabric line car and the seven fabric line car. Let's talk about the RSP fabric and the fabric port connections. RSP in the integrated chassis, it having play a different role. The reason is RSP itself having two fabric switch inside. 
and each fabric, it depends on the different chassis, can be support two or three or four fabric port connections. And the fabric port is connected between the line car fabric interface ASIC, which is called the, uh, the FIA, and the, uh, the SFC or the RSP through the uh, third S serialization or deserialization channels. In the ASR 9006-9010, it supports symmetric uh, fabric port. That means each RSP fabric will be support two of the fabric port connections. However, on ASR 9904, it supports asymmetric fabric port connection. The reason is when you connect a five fabric line car, the first RSP fabric, they're going to support two of the fabric port. And the second of the RSP fabric, they're going to have three fabric port connections. And in the uh, seven fabric line car insert into the ASR 9904, they're going to support three fabric port connection to the uh, first of the uh, RSP fabric. And there will be have four fabric port connections to the second of the RSP fabric. And ASR 9906-10910, the RSP treated just as a, a normal SFC card. So the only the first fabric in the RSP are being using for that connection as normal to fabric port to connect to the line car. In these slides, we're going to summarize for the uh, third generation and fifth generation line car connection with the single RSP. And some of the fifth generation, if uh, you know the bandwidth below 800 gig, that still can be supported by the uh, by the third generation um, RSP A80. Okay, with the ball, we can think about in the ASR 9006-9010. Under the single RSP A80, how many of the switch fabric we can support? Each of fabric port, they're going to have 107.5 gig. And in total, we can support 430 gig folding capacity for the ASR 9006 and 10 if you insert the third generation RSP A80. However, or RSP5 can also insert into the ASR 9006 and 9010, but they will be 300 of the fabric port channel to provide the forwarding capacity. And with a single RSP5, we can support up to 1.2 terabits with the four of the fabric port connections. If the system have redundant RSP, then you can easily do the similar calculation so that you can calculate the redundant RSP forwarding capacity support. And for the second, for the third generation RSP A80, that we can support up to 860 gig switching fabric. And with the RSP5, we can support up to 2.4 terabits. Uh, with the eight fabric port connections. Okay, let's look at the uh, ASR 9004. It depends on the third generation RSP A80. And each of the line car is support 107.5 gig per fabric port. And that means if you provide five fabric ports and we can support up to 537.5 gig with the five fabric port connections that we can support this total of the uh, switching capacity. However, RSP5, each fabric port connection support 300 switch fabric, and we can support up to 1.5 terabits uh, for warning capacities with the single RSP5. And if you have redundant system, that means for the uh, third generation RSP A80, we can support up to 1.075 terabits with the 10 of the uh, fabric ports. And on the uh, RSP5, we can support up to 3P of the uh, switching fabric. 
with 10 fabric parts. The last slides we're giving as a reference, and as you see, these summarized RSP5 connects to either the third generation line car or fifth generation line car. And with, with the single or redundant RSP, how, how many forwarding capacity that we can provide. And of course, 9906, 9910 will be treated RSP just like a normal SFC. Okay, that's all of the accountants and hopefully it can help with you identify what kind of the switching fabric that you need to provide based on the RSP. Thank you for watching.